you can tell by my change of scenery, I'm actually in a hotel at the moment. My mum is over for business, so I'm coming over and just enjoying myself so I can escape my dorms for a few days. I'm at the Ritz Carlton in Pooldong. I think I might put a review up for this hotel because it's absolutely amazing and I love it. And yes, I am currently on the bed. It is around 5 p.m. It's just really comfy. But anyway, getting on with it, I made a lovely new friend this year at the start of the year in Melbourne. She's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I found out she had a fashion blog as well. I'll link it below, but it's trialsofwhite.com.au, I think. And then she recently started up a YouTube channel as well. So we thought it would be a fantastic idea to do a swap. So what I'm holding in my hot little hands right now is her gift from Australia. So what the YouTube swap is, I didn't know what it was before either. She introduced me to it. It is like, um, we decided on $100, so she'd send me over $100 worth of presents from Australia, and I'd do so um, from China. And then, so the idea is that we send each other things that we can't get in our countries right now. And I think she's decided to send me a lot of Australian brands and stuff as well. So it's just going to be really lovely because I'm really missing home right now. So yay, let's get into it. As soon as my mum came over and dropped this off for me, I was right away, like I was about to rip off the ribbon and get right into it. But I thought maybe I should leave it for the video because it's really wrapped nicely inside and I didn't want to show you guys with a bundle of like grace wrapping paper and everything just not as pretty. So yes, I'm going to open it really excited. I love presents. And she's written a little note for me. There you go. It says, hey pretty girl, I'm so excited to be doing this swap with you. I hope you like everything I picked out. I had so much fun shopping for it all. I miss you and can't wait for you to come home. Love, Catherine. Thank you. Okay. Wow. This is what it looks like inside. Didn't know you could get so much with $100 Australian. Let's start off with this one. It says one of my favorite Australian brands. Oh, I can't even remember any Australian brands right now. Let's see. Oh, it's Mimco. Love Mimco. I'm so sad you can't get it over in any of the Asian countries. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see what's inside. I think it's a ring. Oh, no, it's earrings. Oh, these are gorgeous. Look. Yay. And then, okay, my second favorite Australian brand. I feel like this is Christmas. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's Aesop. Aesop? Aesop? I never know how to pronounce this. If anyone knows how to pronounce it, let me know. Let's see. They're so cute, these little book bottles. One is a geranium leaf body cleanser, and this is a rind concentrate body balm. This is perfect because when I go gym, I have to bring, like, the massive bottles of showering gel and moisturizers. This, this is really useful for me. And when I go traveling as well, I'll say... Yay! Next, let's see. I've never tried this, but it smells too good to resist. Ooh, this is so exciting because I love nice smelling things as well. I have a really sensitive, like keen sense of smell. Like if anyone farts from like five kilometers away, I will be the first person to smell it. But I'm sure this is something that smells nice. Ooh, it's from Sports Girl. Oh, I feel like I'm in Australia. Okay. Oh, lip jam, moisturizing lip balm. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna just open it and see what it smells like. Stick it. Alright, got it. Do you guys wanna smell? Oh, it smells really nice. Actually, it's like kind of watermelon lollies. Oh, it smells like those watermelon gummy lollies. Kind of tropical gummy, like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you get what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the lip jam. Just so pretty. I couldn't not get it. Mm, I feel like it's a necklace, I think. Let's see. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so pretty. Now, I absolutely love statement necklaces, you know me, and anything just like on a plain white t-shirt, you can wear a necklace and it'll just really sort of make the outfit so much nicer. Ah, and I love my turquoise hues. Oh, this is gonna go great. I think it would go really nice just even with yellows and oranges or like blues and just definitely against white. Thank you. To help keep a golden tan throughout the year plus the incredible coconut scent reminds me of holidays. 
Thank you, Catherine, because I definitely need this. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I'm about as pale as Snow White right now. I'm getting so pale to the point that I'm a little bit, like, kind of starting to illuminate, going a bit on the green side. It is summer in China right now, but there's not, like, a lot of sunshine because of all the smog. So yeah, I'm not keen on going back to Australia because all my friends bag me for being the most palest person out there. So yay, now I can go back to Australia not looking like the corpse bride as people have actually called me before. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, it's Bondi Sands. I've always wanted to try Bondi Sands. I never knew where to buy it. Um, okay, so it's light medium. Thank you, that is definitely suited to my skin color. Now this is a self-tanning foam. Oh, I've never tried a foam before. I've tried like Latan just self-tanning moisturizer, which works pretty well. But I've never actually tried any. Because I'm not like a big tan person, but I do enjoy looking like I'm alive and warm and well. So I'm really excited to... Oh, I'm going to smell it. It, oh, it definitely does smell like holidays and coconut. There you guys. There you go. You can have a little sniff too. To help get that sun-kissed glow. Perfect. Continuing on from the tanning trend from before. Oh, it's Australis bronzing powder. Okay, I won't open this because it's got that plastic thing on it, but there you go. I don't think I've ever owned a bronzing powder before. This is going to be fun. I'll be nice and tanned and warm by the next time you guys see me. <laughs> because really, when is one necklace enough? Exactly my thoughts. I'm a massive necklace hoarder. I'll show you guys my necklace collection one day. Excited to see what this one's like. Oh, it's from Cal oh, It's so pretty. Okay, I love huge necklaces and just anything gold and white. And I wear a lot of white, so this is gonna be perfect. I absolutely love Colette. If there's any store that I actually really miss here, it's Colette. Cause like, I guess Forever 21 and H&M have sort of the same styles, but it's not. It's just not as vibrant and statement as Colette. Oh, thank you so much. I love it. It's got just all different kind of kinds of chaining going on. It's so textured. It's got kind of like an Aztec feel going on with that. <gasps> Yay. Ooh, all right, last one. It's a bit stuck in the box. Just give me a sec. Get down and dirty. Now, can anyone guess what this is going to be? I think I have a pretty good idea. Yep. Frank. Okay. So a lot of you guys have probably tried this before. Let me know how it is. But I did buy a pack when I was back in Australia, but I left it in Australia and never got to try it. So yay! And now that I actually have a bathroom to try it in and I don't have to clean up afterwards, I'm going to try it in this hotel. Um, I'll do a review if you guys want it or not, but I'm so excited. I do hate coffee. I don't like drinking it, like, ever, but I love the smell of it. So this is going to be very tantalizing. Oh my gosh, so many goodies. My bed is a mess. I'll show you guys. So much stuff. I never thought we could buy so much with $100 Australian, but... So thank you so much for watching this video. I think, well, it's quite important to recognize your home country and sort of know what it's famous for and its brands. And it's good to sort of promote and endorse them as well because they're part of your country. They're part of you. And I don't know, it just made me realize how much... Like, I appreciate Australia and how many things that it actually produces on its own. Because it's hard because we're quite an international country and we don't really see a lot of Australian-made things these days because it's always imported or international and we are obsessed with American and British culture and basically every other culture in the world, which is wonderful. But it's just nice to sort of hit home base and know what we're famous for and know what really makes us who we are and just... I don't know, maybe you guys can get some gift ideas from all these goodies as well. I mean, we don't always have to buy things online for someone's birthday present and get it, like, ordered in from another country when we have so many amazing things right here in our own home. Thank you so much, Catherine, for all my goodies. I absolutely love every single one of them. It, I feel very nostalgic right now, and I'm coming home really soon, so I can't wait to just be at home with all these Australian goodies and friends. Again, I hope you enjoy my Asian package that is making it to your way very soon. I promise it is not full of Hello Kitty products. I actually got some nice stuff that's not too far in. Let me know if you guys want any reviews on any of the products that have been sent and hopefully um, you can stick around and watch Catherine's video of my swap and I'll link her YouTube account below. Thank you so much. <laughs>